when we're doing life, every single day, every single moment that we are given, it's an opportunity for us to expand the very best of our abilities and our capabilities. There is an element of desperation that is actually needed in life, and without that element of desperation, chances are that there are very many things that will remain dormant or remain untapped and unused and unheralded because we are living in comfort and we're living in this assumption that tomorrow is always going to come. In these episodes, we're discussing what we can be able to do on a daily basis so that we can maximize the day for the sake of productivity. And I do believe that the reason as to why you and I are here on the face of the earth is so that we can be productive. That is the number one responsibility of the human race. It is to be productive. The question is, how can we use the particular day that we've been given this day today to be the most productive human beings that this world has ever seen that's what i want us to discuss in this episode stay tuned welcome to the life signatures podcast with lawrence namale Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. Desperation. Desperation is such a good thing in life if you had it. Now, the question it would be that who is controlling this desperation? Is it circumstances and situations around you? Or is it an internal resolve or internal force inside of your heart, inside of your spirit to create some kind of desperation that says that I cannot be satisfied, I cannot stay like this if this my life is not going to end like this. There's got to be something better. There's got to be something that I can be able to do to rectify the situation. Now, there's that kind of desperation and this, this, the desperation that is thrown unto you, for example, when coronavirus hit. COVID-19 hits the whole wide world, we go into a mode of desperation and all of us are looking for vaccines, all of us are looking for cures and so on and so forth and we run helter-skelter until such a time that the dire situation has been resolved, then we go back to our comfort. So there is a competition between comfort and desperation, desperation so that we can restore comfort, which I don't like. We need to have a desperation so that we can create things, we can contribute, we can have impact, we can see the dreams and the desires that we do have in our lives coming to fulfillment because we are desperate for them to happen. And that is going to translate in how we are going to live on our day-to-day basis, on a daily basis. How are we going to live? What are we going to do? How productive can we be? And I've always said in this episode that the reason as to why I believe the human being is alive is that that the human being has to be productive. That is the number one reason, the number one priority, the number one impact, the number one purpose for the human, it is to be productive. In whichever different ways that we can be productive. Some people can be productive in kicking a ball. People can be productive in singing. Others can be productive in talking. Others can be productive in creating podcasts and writing books and whatever it is that you are uniquely endowed to be productive in. The call to the human is to be productive. Now, productivity doesn't happen in a season or sometime in the future. One of the things that we normally do is we postpone living thinking that the conducive environment is ahead. You know, when the kids are out of the house, when... I get married when I get the job, when I get the promotion, when I get the car, when I build this, when I build that, then I'm going to be productive. How about today? And we end up ignoring this particular day that has been given to us. We end up living as if this day is not important. Some day elsewhere ahead is going to be important, which is a total lie. So we're discussing in this episode, what exactly can we do? What are some of the principles that we can live by so that 
every single day we are awake, we are productive. And we say that productivity does not have to be paid for. Does not have to be paid for at the end of the month or at the end of the year or at the end of the, 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 the project, whatever it is. We just have got to be productive, whether it's going to be paid for or not. There are two types of payment, by the way. There's a payment that you receive when you do something and it's called a psychic payment, which is fulfillment. Nobody can ever pay you enough to be fulfilled in working. Nobody can ever pay you enough to be fulfilled in uh, doing some projects and making sure that the, the projects are finished. In fact, one of the things I normally tell people is that make sure every single day there's something that you've done to finish. Uh, right at least at the beginning of the day, what can I finish today? Let me tell you, when you finish something and you walk out of the door and it is finished, it's done and dusted, nobody can pay you for the feeling of fulfillment and the feeling of achievement that you get. That's one thing. And then the other thing that we get is that we can grow in stature, we can grow in experience. That's why when they're employing people, they're looking for people with experience. And how do you get experience without being productive? And so we can get experience in the day that we do the things that we've done and then the third thing of course we get the monetary payment the problem with us is that we are always prioritizing the monetary payment over these other payments and we find that we're living from one thing to another being chasing just the money and chasing just the money and we are not necessarily being productive that's why people can clock in the government offices you see people you know you go to a government office and you see a coat there you know someone's uh, jacket uh, at the seat that just tells the, you that they were there you know they are around and the whole day you can be waiting for someone to serve you and they are not there because they're just looking for money at the end of the day. They are not looking to expend energies, to, to be productive, to work, to create stuff, to be to add value on the, on the face of the earth, on, on the assignment that has been given to them. Imagine that they're living for that assignment. They were born for that assignment, but they're, they're not there. They're nowhere to be seen. They're just around, just going to draw money at the end of the month. That is a wrong way of living. So we've said in these episodes that if you're going to be productive, there's some principles that you need to have in place. And one of the principles you need to know is that life happens bit by bit. We don't live all our lives at once. We live a life, our lives at a day at a time, 12 hours at a time, 24 hours at a time. We don't live all of it just like that at once. So one of the things that we need to do is to build. And the, when we are building brick by brick, bit by bit, every bit should be critical every bit should be healthy every bit should be excellent that's how we're going to make it in this life and then we say that another principle that we need to do is to have consistency in what we're doing in that we focus on one thing we find something that we can put our hands on and we can focus on it and we keep expanding it and deploying it on a daily basis that very thing if you're a singer every single day you're singing you're clearing your voice you're doing voice practice you're you're practicing to sing if you're a speaker every single day you're speaking you're practicing to speak you're getting some idioms some stories you're gathering your finesse you're making your excellence you're being consistent you're not doing one thing and then you're doing it the, the second time you're doing it is next week or next month no you're becoming consistent and therefore you're making every single day to be productive bruce lee said i don't fear a guy who has practiced one and one thousand kicks once i fear the guy who has practiced one kick one thousand times that is the ultimate consistency that we're focusing on and it comes when you honor the day when you honor your days every single day is honored and then today i want us to look at something that is very important that when you rise up to go and to work to go and to be productive to expend your energy you're using an element or a principle that are called urgency that's the desperation i was talking about earlier you see when someone is just about to kill you you are very desperate to be alive when someone immerses you in water and they hold you in there you know you are desperate to breathe someone say that if you're desperate enough like a man who is breathing for air for the success and for the productivity you want to have in life you are going to be productive our problem is this we are never desperate we are comfortable we are cozy we are average we are never desperate for the day we wait for moments or seasons to bring desperation into our lives. But every single day, you know, we need to be like God. The scriptures tell us that the steadfast love of God never ceases. His masses are new, new, new every morning. Every morning, he pours out new masses. In fact, yesterday is gone. It's forgotten. It's in the history. But today is a new day, new masses. Our problem is that when we're using yesterday's masses and we are comfortable therein, 
and then we are also projecting for tomorrow's masses and we are comfortable today and today goes into west there is you walk around and you see people they have no element of desperation in their lives for anything no element of desperation in their lives for productivity students get desperate when the exams are coming to a close sales people get desperate when the sales quarter is coming to a close and they've got to get a bonus you know we're living seasonally and therefore the days are wasted this particular day becomes a waste because i don't have desperation i don't have urgency urgency is something that you and i need on a daily basis and we've got to make this urgency a uh, something that we impute upon ourselves on a daily basis we don't wait for pressure to come from outside we don't wait for some someone to put their foot down and and to read the riot act for us we wait when we do wait we are lacking desperation we are lacking urgency i've talked about this at length elsewhere on these episodes that my definition of urgency means that you are faithful in the thing that you're supposed to do If it's 20 minutes that you are located yourself to do something you do it 20 minutes if it's, if it's one hour to be on social media you are urgent enough to be on social media for one hour and then when the one hour is over you move on to something else that is an element of urgency you are also urgent because some things have got to be done There's this guy called Paul the apostle he said who to me if i don't preach the gospel that is urgency this this man called Jesus Christ he said i must preach to other regions that is a level of urgency in life what is it that we are saying in our lives who to me if i don't do x y and z who to me if i don't podcast who to me if i don't build life signatures universities who to me if i don't speak with urgency who to me if i don't speak the message of purpose and productivity and resilience who to me what are those things that we are saying who to me if i don't that is a level of urgency that is a level of desperation that is created by our focus and our passion on something that is greater than ourselves it all comes back down to purpose it all comes back down to the message of purpose we've got to be urgent in one way or another it means that you have set aside every single pursuit and distraction in order to get the best out of the time that you have which is today you have today What can you set aside? What distractions can you remove so that today can be a day of productivity? If today is a day that you're supposed to take someone out, you focus on that you don't do, do two meetings, don't place two meetings on that particular day. That is being urgent. And being involved in the particular day, you pouring out yourself 100% in that particular day, expending your energies 100% on that particular day. It also means that you're faithful to the extent of time by minute by minute every single breath every single minute and i know this sounds so weird because we're used to being comfortable therefore someone thinking that losing a minute is weird i mean being so hell bent on milking the minute or making the hour people think it's be- being so intense it is not being so intense it's being productive because you're going to be intense when you're relaxing also you're going to be intense when you're playing or you're going to be intense when you're going on vacation because you have set aside some times for these things and I'm going out of myself we're going to talk about these things in the coming days you've got to be urgent in the day stop postponing the day live today wherever you go there you are appear today as the most urgent human being this world has ever seen be urgent in your pursuits be urgent in productivity today be urgent in expanding your dreams be urgent being being the person the best version of yourself be urgent with your potential today one thing that you will know It is that this urgency is going to build into the consistency we talked about yesterday and the consistency we talked about yesterday is going to build into momentum and you realize that you're doing your days bit by bit with consistency and with urgency you're the most alive human being this world has ever seen we're going to continue discussing these things in the next episode but until then how desperate are you what is it that you're saying in your life who to me if i don't do x y and z what is it that you're saying i must do this today bye bye 
A special shout out to my mentor Jeffrey Howard of Visionary Business University found at mastermindmentor.com who has graciously provided me with the soundtrack and the introductory track to this podcast. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh, clean, and inspiring.